Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to have a look at Endgame number 60 from the book 100 Endgames You Must Know by Jesus Chilavila. In this endgame, we are having a look at a position where the pawn is on the fourth rank, the king is behind the pawn. It's similar to the previous example, endgame 59. The only difference is here, black's king is separated by the, uh, by the rook from this pawn by two files. So there's a two file difference and this is a win for white. So this method is called Gregory's combined method. Um, so we'll start off with uh, white to play king b4 here black makes use of the distant effectiveness we mentioned we had a look last time rook b8 king a5 rook c8 and comes king b5 to defend the pawn here black can give another check and after that king a6 white king reaches the ideal position here we know do not get carried away and give checks here because after king b7 the position is lost because the rook can come to c8 and defend this pawn so going back to this position the correct way we know is to go to rook c8 always attack the undefended pawn and here rook c1 is played so this is one of the differences in the previous example in game 59 we were not able to play this move because the king was a bit closer to the pawn so here rook c1 here uh, black plays king e7 and after king b7 attacking the rook rook comes to b6 rook um, and then king b6 attacking the rook here the rook has to go to h5 and after the pawn pushes king d8 here the idea is for black to reach the philidor position if you're not sure about the philidor position please have a look at endgame 53 and 54 and it's probably one of the basic drawing positions in a rook and pawn endgame here rook d1 is played giving a check and after king c8 rook g1 and as you can see once the pawn pushes to c6 there's significant weakness in the back rank because there's a checkmate threat for black so to um, to solve this problem black has to retreat to h8 and after c6 rook f8 is played and as you can see this is one of the signature moves in this attack which is rook a1 one thing I forgot to mention is this method only works for bishop and central pawns. So that's C, D, E and F pawns. And this move um, explains all by itself. Because white should be able to bring the, pawn, um, bring the rook to A1. So if the pawn was on B1 and the king was on um, B, uh, A6, the pawn was on b6 and the king was on a6 this was not possible at the same time if the pawn is on a6 this is not possible so that's the whole reason this uh, method only works for bishop and central pawns so here um, black plays king b8 to avoid a checkmate and after c7 check king c8 is forced and after rook a8 is self-evident here white wins I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe and it's bye for now.